Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I begin, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahushua Ba'ashem, Rakai Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Much respect to you, brothers out there, throughout the four corners of earth. Preaching his word in truth and sincerity. Shalom to the tabernacle. David, hopefully, like and speckled bird. I want to say shalom. So, just want to get into this lesson. And, um, yeah, it's about our the Israelite men, the so called Negro, Latino, Native American men. All right, is, is, is really being put down. All right. And as you see, um, I look up this word emasculating. All right, this is what Esau Edom is is doing to our men, right? And, and a lot of our men, you know, to to get that money, because a lot of us, you know, due to the curses as well, us being in captivity, you know, we we ain't living the lavish life. So a lot of our Israelite men will willfully emasculate themselves. Follow after Esau Edom to be e e effeminate, to get that bag, to get that money. But through the understanding of the scriptures, a riches profit not in the day of wrath. And and for a man to be an austere man, a man among men, right? A man ain't supposed to be e effeminate. And this is what this world is pushing. So as you see the uh, word right here, emasculate, right? To deprive a man of his male role or identity. You see that? You see that? Let's read that again. To, uh, to deprive a man of his male role or identity. And, and you see that. And it also says, um, make someone or something weaker or less effective. And, and pretty much that's, that's all the Israelite men down here. Except for the ones that's, that's actually in this truth and standing for righteousness, all right, standing boldly for the name of Yahweh by Shemel All right, for, for the rest of the Israelite men out here, hey, they pretty much, <laughs> they walking around here with skinny jeans, being effeminate, letting, letting the woman rule over them. All right, they have no might in their hands. They have no power. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, these pictures you know, pretty much I got the inspiration to uh, do this lesson, you know, man, <laughs> you got the blonde hair in your head, all right, which if you don't understand, you know, that, that blonde hair, hey, that's, um, um, that's leprosy, man, you walking around proud as hell, <laughs> proud as hell, uh, uh wearing a, a leprous hair, hair color, man. Wearing a, a damn dress as well. Got a Dwayne Wade with all the money falling after his woman. Having his having his son, all right, uh, uh, being transgender or, or want to be a, a woman out here, man. You know, that's, that's a damn shame. Got uh, this dude right here. All right, designer men heels. Gender neutral. All right, these celebrities will do anything, anything to keep themselves in the limelight and to keep their pockets full. You know, that's a crying shame. Got this dude right here, you know, at first glance when he watched the show Atlanta, you know, I would think that this brother would be a hard brother. But no, man, to be up in Hollywood, to keep that bag, man, you you got to do <laughs> you got to do a whole bunch of wickedness, man. You got to put on a dress. Got to act like a woman. Got to do some things behind the scene. Got to bend over. All right. Atlanta star Brian Tyree Henry Cass as first openly uh, gay superhero in Marvel's The Internals. All right. So I guess Marvel has a, a, a movie coming out. And of course, the Israelite men <laughs> is going to be the homosexual, man. You know, everything about this world. Is made to put down the Israelite men, made to put down the Israelites to keep them away from their power. That's what these people don't understand. All right, this 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 system, this beast system, is made to put you down, 
It's made to keep you away from your power. All right? And he got this damn demon right here. Little Nas or whatever his name is. All right? Just the uh, other day or, or last month or so, you know, getting some breast implants, you know? Damn demon, man. That's, that's enough, man. I'm tired of, <laughs> tired of looking at it. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get some scriptures, man. And, and Lord willing, this is edifying, okay? Lord willing, this is edifying. And you get the understanding that, you know, a, a man is supposed to be a real man out here, right? And that's how Esau Edom attacks our people, all right? You take out the man out the household, all right? And, and the whole kingdom, the whole the whole head ends up falling falling apart, man. The whole body ends up falling. You know, you, you ain't got nobody to look up to, ain't <laughs> Ain't got nobody in, in true rulership. But hey, that's that's when Yahushua comes through. All right. Us coming to our wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of our, our of our true heritage and understanding that hey, we need Yahushua. Are right, we tired of, of these wicked ass Israelites out here that's is doing whatever the hell that they want to do because they want that money, they want that bag. All right. They lay off themselves treasures uh, uh, uh upon this world. They want a corruptible crown. We searching for and we're hoping to get an incorruptible crown. All right. We're hoping that we, we be of the first fruits of a, of a righteous kingdom, man. All right. Because you ain't going to have any, any of this, any of this in the kingdom of heaven. You know, if any other nation comes up and try to do some stuff like this, they're going to be put to death. According to the scriptures, man. All right. So let's go ahead and get uh this is Deuteronomy 22 and uh verse 5. Let's go ahead and get that. A woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. All right, goes to show you a lot of women wearing that which pertaineth to a man, you know, wearing man's clothing, you know, wearing uh, uh pants, you know, it pretty much puts on a manly spirit. Neither shall a man put a, on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto Yahweh thy power. You see that? As 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 the pictures that I've shown, you know, you got men putting on women's garment. You got men being out here being homosexual. Guess what? That's that's an abomination unto Yahweh Hashem Yahweh. All right, so let's get this. This is on uh, Leviticus. All right, twenty thirteen. Twenty uh yeah twenty thirteen. All right. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. All right. And that's what these these actors are doing. You know, behind closed doors to get that bag, man. You, <laughs> man, you know, behind closed doors, as they, as they will say, you know, you got other men popping other other men. You know, if you want that movie role, you you gotta do it. Want that movie role? Hey, you gotta you gotta sacrifice somebody somebody or, or, or your family member or something, man. All right. And best believe it, this this wicked ass nigga. This hey they they gonna be put to death, man. They they <laughs> they gonna get it, man. All right. Best believe they 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 have laid down with with another man and have not repented. All right, so they're gonna be put to death because they love their riches. They love being in the limelight, man. Matter of fact, this is uh, let's go to Job real quick. Hey, one second. This is a uh, Job four and seven. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? Whoever perished being innocent. So, hey, that's that's including uh, little babies, man. We understand regeneration, reincarnation, okay? You understand that in, in this life or whatever uh, way that you have uh, perished, you know, you 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 dying for what you have done in your past life, and also says where were the righteous cut off? All right, if you wholeheartedly believe and trust in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, you're doing this work, and hey, you're not going to be cut off. All right, here's the key point, verse 8. Even as I have seen, they that plow with nicotine and sow wickedness reap the same. So you're going to be destroyed 
for plowing iniquity, for pushing out that vibration for other men to follow after you, to wear a dress and, and to be effeminate out here. Check this, by the blast of power they perish, and by the breath of his nostrils are they consumed. That, so they're going to be consumed, man. And that ultimate <laughs> consume is being destroyed by that nuclear destruction that's coming to destroy Babylon the Great. Matter of fact, let's get this. This is, uh, let's go to uh, 2 Peter 2 and 7. I may want to get up. Um, 2 Peter 2 and uh, I'll start in verse 6. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemning them with the overthrow and making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. You see? And, and Babylon the Great, which is America, Rome 2.0, is falling after the ways of Sodom and Gomorrah. Pushing, pushing all that, man. But yet saying that, oh, we're a Bible-believing country, man. No. <laughs> all right, you falling after the ways of Sod Sodom and Gomorrah. And, and you, <laughs> hey, with that nuclear destruction, ain't going to be nothing left over here. All right, so all you wicked-ass niggas that's, that's want to follow in the ways Babylon the Great, you're going to die over here, okay? And check this, and deliver just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, all right? And, and we're pretty much in, in that same situation now here, all right? That's why we go out there on the highways and byways, preach his word, do these sit-downs, do these lessons, because we vex. We tired of seeing the wicked out here reign and rule, all right? For the righteous man dwelling among them, seeing and hearing vex. His righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. You see that? We're we're vexed, man. Seeing, seeing, <laughs> seeing these, seeing all people out here just doing whatever the hell that they want to do, man. All right, the damn demons, man. They gonna be destroyed. All right. Let's see. Um, let's get a Proverbs. Quoted this early. This is Proverbs eleven and four. Proverbs eleven four. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. All right, your your riches, everything that you've got, you know, because you wanted to get all rich real quick. Hey, it's not it's not gonna profit in the day of wrath. All right, the Lord got your number. So if he wants a bear, a tiger, another Jake, Edomite to come up and, and kill you, hey, the Lord's gonna pronounce that death upon you. Or if he wants to save you up for that nuclear destruction, or for Yahweh Shai himself or the men of the Lord to come down and cut you down, hey, best believe that's what's gonna happen, man. But it says, but the righteous righteousness deliver it from death. All right, those that are vexed, those that are doing the will of Yahweh Shai are gonna be delivered from death, right? I see this is verse five. The righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way. You see that? You're going to do that which is pleasing in the sight of Yahweh by Shemel Shah, right? And the Lord is going to direct you into the righteous path, right? But the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness, all right? You keep on doing wickedness, uh, even if it's behind the scenes. Hey, you're going to fall, man. You're going to taste that destruction, right? The righteousness of the upright shall deliver them. You see that? Being delivered, getting beaten up in them chariots. Looking down, seeing the reward of the wicked, them tasting that fire. But to, but transgressors shall be taken in their own naughtiness, man. And, and you see all these celebrities dropping dead. Why? Because a lot of them have, have taken the oath. You know? And at any moment, at any time, they can be sacrificed unto this beast system, man. You know? Hey, I ain't trying to have no part of that, man. Let's go to uh, Proverbs again. Let's get uh, Proverbs uh, 28 in uh, verse 20. All right. A faithful, uh, Proverbs 28 and 20, a faithful man shall abound with blessings, but he that make, maketh haste to be rich shall not be innocent. You see that? All right. So the faithful man, all right, he, he's going to be blessed. The Lord is going to take care of him in the time of trouble. The Lord, hey, the Lord is going to, Bestow upon him the crown of glory, all right? But he that maketh haste to be rich shall not be innocent. So these people out here, they made haste to be rich. So they did whatever that Esau Edom told them 
to be rich. Whether they had to bend down, put on a dress or whatever, man. All right? And that's not honorable, man. That's not honorable. I I won't no hey, I want no parts in that, man. And uh let's get this right here. He that hasteth to be rich have an evil eye. You see that? They have an evil eye towards their brother. Right? Because a lot of these people, once again, they have to sacrifice they own family members or a little kid or a child or something like that, man. To attain their riches, to keep themselves in the limelight. And consider not that poverty shall come upon him. You see that? And you see these these uh, uh, people up there in Hollywood or, or whatever, man. Whatever form of entertainment, man. They 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 built up, they they on high, and then all of a sudden they ain't got no money. All right, <laughs> they ain't doing so good. All right, they gotta get bailed out too. Their businesses is is falling apart. They ain't got nothing to show for it. You know, and especially in Jacob's trouble. Hey, these people, these people gonna be seeking your life. You know, they're going to be like, hey, ain't that so-and-so? Ain't he got money? Ain't he got food? They're going to be thinking that they're going to be coming for you, man. All right. Let's see. Um, let's see what else I want to get. This is um, Salak, yeah. Uh, let me get Sirach. Yeah, let me go. Let me go ahead and get that. Salak, yeah, bear with me. This is uh, Sirach. 14 and uh, 3. Let's get this. Sarak 14 and 3. Riches are not comely for a niggard. And what shall an envious man do with money? All right. A niggard, stingy, ungenerous, selfish. All right. That's, that's what these celebrities are, man. You know, they got all these riches and they're not even helping out the men of the Lord. They're not even helping out their people, man. It's keeping the heaping riches unto themselves, man. They just like forget everybody. But yet they, they see their nation is down at the bottom. We ain't doing so good, man. So to hell with these celebrities, man. To hell with them. You know? And let's get this scripture right here. And um get the last couple scriptures on uh Judah 5 is 17. And um I'll close out. All right, so this is Judah 5 and 17. And what so they sin not before their power, they prosper before because the power of Yahweh Shemel Shah, the hate of iniquity was with them. So at one point in time, hey, we prospered. Hey, we was the most feared nation. Okay? Because Yahweh Shemel Shah was on our side. All right, we was keeping the law of statutes commandments to the best of our ability. All right? But check this, but when they departed from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles, very sore, and were led captives into a land that was not theirs, and the temple of their power was cast to the ground, and the cities were taken by the enemies. You see that? So our people that want to follow after the ways of the heathens, do whatever they wanted to do, all right? Want to be homosexual, serve other gods, all right? Our people fell down. We fell. All right, and now we ain't the most feared nation. Yeah, these other nations may look up to us, but we ain't got no might. We ain't got no power. But now are they turned to their power and come up from the places where they were scattered and possessed Jerusalem, where their sanctuary is, and seated in the hill country, for it was desolate. So the Lord's going to bring us back, put us up on high, man. Now, therefore, my Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai and Governor, if there be any error against his people and they sin against their power, let us consider that this shall be their ruin and let us go up and we shall overcome them. And that's that's the thinking of the heathen, man. All right. They they want us. All right. Once again, this this infrastructure, this B system is, is made for the Israelites to go off to keep them away from their power. OK, everything, pretty much everything down here. Is made to keep you away from Yahweh Shemel Shah. All right? But if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by, at least their Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shah, defend them and their power before them 
and we become a reproach before all the world. All right, and that's what's going to happen, man. That's what's happening now. These curses are clinging unto Esau, Edom, and these other nations. All right, now that that remnant is turning unto Yahweh Bashim El Shai. All right, and the Lord is fighting for us. And ultimately, Yahweh Shai is going to crack that sky. All right, and the host of angels, and they're going to put these, <laughs> he's going to put these heathens down, man. All right, and it ain't, ain't going to be no more homosexual, ain't no, ain't going to be any more uh, soft, effeminate niggas, man. All right, they're going to be Israelites, they're going to be kings, priests, all right, of Yahweh Hashem El Shai. Okay, so with that, Lord willing, this is edifying. I want to give all praises going on to Yahweh by Shimei Hashem by Shem Rakak and Dash, the bonds to the apostles and elders of Great Moonstone, and a Baal Babal Shalom.